Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the winter and holiday collections from I Love Nail Polish for this year. There are 14 polishes here, 7 are the winter collection and 7 are the holiday collection. Both of these collections will be available for pre-order on November 20th, so I will link the website down below where you guys can check those out and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called My Private Rainbow X, and this is what I believe is the Scattered Holographic Top Coat. The I Love Nail Polish has a regular My Private Rainbow, which is a linear holographic top coat. I think this is the Scattered version. And I am layering this over No Peaking Till 7 a.m. from Girly Bits, which the review for that should be up shortly. So here's one coat. This actually on the nail looks like a slightly more dense, more holographic version of China Glaze Fairy Dust. Formula is great, smooth, easy to apply, not too thick or too thin. Fantastic glitter payoff, too. So there is one coat of My Private Rainbow X. I forgot to mention that I am starting with the Winter Collection first, so these first seven polishes are all from the Winter Collection. This one is called Sweater Weather, and this is a deeper blue with a scattered holographic, but it also feels like it has a little green flash to it somewhere. So here's one coat. This one has a nice glitter payoff, but it is a little more on the jelly side, so it's a little bit sheer. It is going to need two coats, but I think it should build up fine in two. Great formula, no issues there. It's not too thick or too thin. It doesn't want to run down the sides of my nail and pool in my cuticles. It really stays where you put it. It's easy to apply. So here's two coats. This one covers completely in two. It dries pretty shiny. It's a little bit dull still, but for the most part, compared to what I was expecting to see, it dries pretty shiny. So there is two coats of Sweater Weather. The next polish is called Home Sweet Home, and this is like a pale, lilac-y, purple holographic. So here's one coat. This one is pretty sheer on the first coat. It does look like it has a mix of scattered and linear holographic. Same formula as the other ones, smooth, easy to apply. So here's two coats. This one is very close to opaque in two, but I can still see my nail line a little bit. This one probably dries the same as the last one, but it is so sparkly and so, so much lighter of a color that it's difficult to tell. It looks to me like it dries pretty shiny. So here's three coats. And this one covers completely in three. It was pretty close to opaque in two. I could still see my nail line, but all the sparkle is pretty distracting from the nail line. So I think a lot of people could probably get away with two. So there is three coats of Home Sweet Home. The next polish is called Ski Lodge, and this is a deep kind of forest green holographic. So here's one coat. This one is also a little bit more jelly-like, so it's a little bit sheer on the first coat. Formula is the same though, really good. So here's two coats. This one covers completely in two. And like the last one, it seems to dry pretty shiny as well. So there is two coats of Ski Lodge. The next polish is called Cozy Mittens, and this is almost like a pearly nude holographic with gold flakies in it. So here's one coat. This one is pretty sheer on the first coat. The formula feels a little bit thinner than the other ones that I've used so far, but it's not bad. It's still easy to apply. It's just a little bit thinner than the others. So here's two coats. So I can still see my nail line on this one with two coats. I'm going to do three. There are some brush strokes that show when you first apply this, but those did disappear as it dried. So here's three coats, and this one covers completely in three. This has a nice, smooth, linear holographic as well. So there is three coats of Cozy Mittens. So the next polish is called Showtime, and this is a very bright magenta holographic. So here's one coat. This one actually covers really well on the first coat. I can still see a little bit of my nail line, and it's a little bit too light, so it is going to need two, but it covers very evenly. Great formula, just like the rest of the collection so far. So here's two coats. This one covers completely in two, and it does deepen the color quite a bit. And again, this dries pretty shiny. I mean, I always suggest a top coat anyway, but sometimes polishes like this can dry dull. So there is two coats of Showtime. And the last polish from the Winter Collection is called Juliet, and this is a copper, rose gold kind of color. There's definitely some holographic in there, but it is packed with those sterling silver flakies that are super reflective. So here's one coat. This one is a little bit sheer on the first coat, but you do get a ton of those flakies out. Same great formula as the rest of the collection. So here's two coats. 
This one covers completely in two and it is super, super shiny. Now these flakies will not be hard to remove like a glitter. They'll come off just fine off of your nail, but they will probably get everywhere on your skin. They're kind of difficult to completely clean up around your nail. So there is two coats of Juliet. So starting out with the holiday polishes, the first one is Ferris Wheel, and this is a multi-chrome flaky topper. This has green, blue, pink, and gold shifting flakies. And I am layering this one over Blue Christmas, also from Girly Bits, and again, I'll have that review up hopefully in the next day or two. So here's one coat. This one has a good amount of flakies on the first coat, and they do spread out pretty evenly on the first coat. I'm only doing one coat. Formula is good, just like the others. I'm doing just a tiny bit of manipulation to get those flakies where I want them, but it really doesn't take much. So there is one coat of Ferris Wheel. So the next polish is called XO, and this is a kind of a ready purple. This has that little bit of holographic and then those sterling silver flakies in there as well. So here's one coat. This one is a little bit more of a jelly, so it's a little bit sheer on the first coat, but it should still build up well. Formula is good, just like all of the others have been so far in this collection, or these two collections, I guess. So here's two coats. This one covers completely in two. Like I said, those flakies will not stick to your nail like a glitter does. You won't have to scrub or anything to get them off, but you will probably have some flaky remnants around your nails after you remove them. So there is two coats of XO. So the next polish is called Empire, and this is a gold with that slight holographic and sterling silver flakies. So here's one coat. So this one covers pretty well on the first coat. I can still see through it though. Same formula as the others, and again, you get a ton of flakies out. So here's two coats, and this one covers completely in two. This is super sparkly. This won't dry textured at all. It might not feel 100% smooth, so I would still suggest a top coat. But in general, these flakies do lay pretty flat. So there is two coats of Empire. The next polish is called Time in a Bottle, and this is kind of a turquoise with that slight holographic and those sterling silver flakies. So here's one coat. This one covers pretty evenly on the first coat. It is still a little bit light and a little bit sheer, so I'm going to do a second. Same formula as the others and a good amount of flakies. So here's two coats. This one covers completely in two and it does deepen the color. Again, it will remove easily, but they might still make a mess. So there is two coats of Time in a Bottle. The next polish is called Limelight, and this is a light yellowy green. This has that little bit of holographic and a ton of sterling silver flakies. So here's one coat. This one is pretty sheer on the first coat. Formula feels the same though, and again, packed with flakies. So here's two coats. This one actually covers completely in two, and I didn't really think it was going to. I thought this one was gonna need three. I am having to do a little like spot coverage where there's just a little bit of gap between the flakies. I just have to add a little bit more polish there, but it does cover pretty well in two. So there is two coats of Limelight. The next polish is called Cherry Luxe, and this is a red with that slight holographic and sterling silver flakies. So here's one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat, actually. It's just a little tiny bit sheer, but it is lighter than what it is in the bottle, so I'm gonna do a second. Same great formula as the rest of the two collections. So here's two coats. So this one covers completely in two, though it was nearly opaque in one. Two coats does deepen the color a little bit, but not as much as I was expecting. So I think if you're not super picky, you could probably get away with this with one coat. So there is two coats of Cherry Luxe. And the last polish is called Lucky One, and this is a deeper green with that slight holographic and sterling silver flakies. Here it is next to Limelight, so you can see the difference. So here's one coat. This one is a bit sheer on the first coat. Formula on this one is the same as the other ones. A ton of flakies too. So here's two coats. This one covers completely in two and deepens the color a little bit as well. And again, these flakies will probably make a bit of a mess on removal, but they won't stick to your nail like a glitter does. So there is two coats of Lucky One. So I don't know if I've said this before, I know I've thought it multiple times, that I love anything that I Love Nail Polish comes out with when they mix platinum flakies and holographic, and that's these two are definitely my favorite. So Cherry Luxe, I really like it as not a... 
I don't want to say this. I feel like you don't see a lot of bright colors from I Love Nail Polish. Mostly, you know, it's like metallics and like more muted colors or multi-chromes or whatnot. But I really, really like all the bright colors that were in the holiday collection. But this one especially because it has those flakies in it. And then it has a just, it's so sparkly and so pretty. And then Juliet for the same reason. Um, that rose gold metallic with all of those flakies in there. Amazing. So those two are my favorites. So that is the winter and holiday collections from I Love Nail Polish for 2015. I will link the website down below because these do release for pre-order on November 20th. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.